Kim from Tall Mouse Creative Arts, and welcome to the virtual version of the GASC show. Whew, we're so glad to be here. We wish we could see you in person, but until it is safe to do so, virtual it is. We have a lot to get to. We broke our presentation up into two sections, so we're going to talk about all the stuff on this table, and then we're going to stop and flip the table into some other good tools and tapes and then have a fun time with that. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started with our pens because you know how great all of our pens are. You guys have seen them in the, in the booth and right now they're on the table, which is the new booth. So we're gonna start up here with our fiber tip pens. We've got the nice, wonderful uh, case of 24 pack. These are our fiber tip pens. They don't fall out of the case, which is nice and handy. And then they also do not bleed through, and uh, they won't, won't bleed through right there. And then this is coordinated with the fine line tip, too. This is a pack of 12, and they coordinate together. And so that would be the fiber tip, that would be the fine line, and as you can see, they don't bleed through. So they coordinate quite well. Yes, they're all acid-free and all that good stuff that we need to have. And then the metallics are quite a bit of fun. I thought I had my sample out. That I could write with but that would be the green that would be the uh, rose color and then these are nice uh, nice bright metallic pens also do not bleed through I'll show you the back side of that and then we've got the yummy fruit scented glitter pens which the case is also kind of fun because it opens up differently we've got grape blueberry apple strawberry orange and lemon and then I'm gonna bring up right here so if you can see the top line right there is the glitter one and the smells got nice uh, nice fun bright smelly color so they're really fun and then we've got our other gel pens right here we've got a glitter set and we've got a pastel set glitter and pastel and as you can see they don't bleed through so those are nice and easy to use and then we've got our newer one which is called the gel flex I left my pen in a different place so you got to peel the top off in order to use it. And then this guy is going to write very smooth. Will not smear either, nothing on my fingers, and does not bleed through. It's called a G-Flex oil gel pen. So it's got a nice, smooth, no smear uh, writing quality to it. So those are all of our pens and everything is on the website. And then we've got, we're gonna switch gears over to rhinestones because you remember our whole wall of rhinestones. I'm just showing you a couple packs of clear right now, but you know we've got all different types of shapes as well as colors. And then what do you use to pick up the rhinestone? We use our pencil, which you've seen it. Maybe some of you even have it. It's the orange package, it's called the pencil. Now, this is a compressed bamboo and vegetable oil tip. And so it's kind of a green pencil. It, it's not sticky to the touch, but it does have a pickup quality to it. So I'm gonna bring it down right there. So I just barely tap to pick it up and barely tap to release it. Oh, some of these aren't gonna work on me today. And then works on rhinestones, sequins, small pieces of paper. We like it that you tap to pick it up and then you tap to release it. Showing you on a couple other ones right there. And then if it gets uh, stops working, it's usually because finger oils have touched it. And you know my point is not very sharp right there. A blunt tip works best because then you've got the most amount of coverage on there. If it stops working, you can see me just wipe it on something and then go back to picking it up right there. And then just as a heads up on our rhinestones, a little tip for you. Now, these were all clear. Nobody believes me, but if you take any sort of alcohol marker, you can color the top of them and you can change the color of them. Now you can use any alcohol mar marker or your bottles. You color the top and then you're gonna alter the color so you can match whatever you're doing. It only works on clear and then they cannot be laundered like that. So you know all of our rhinestones, they can go through the laundry as long as you use the um, proper glue, E6000 or Fabri-Tac, but not if you color them. So that is coloring our rhinestones, and then that would be the pencil. Alrighty, so what are we gonna talk about next? We have a lot of templates. We've got a couple tools that we use to go with them, but I'm gonna start right here in the corner. Uh, these are the Judikins templates, envelope templates, and we have a tag template. But this is a pack of three, and it makes three small ones, which are great for gift cards. 
And then we also have the scalloped one, which is that size. And then it's perfect for a gift card size like that if you want to make your own gift card envelopes. Nice scallop edge to it. I like to use double-sided paper because the inside of your envelope looks like it's lined. Or there's always a lot of fun to have with that. And then I'm going to bring you guys to right here this one. We put a, a magnet on the end of it because I'm going to talk about magnets pretty soon. But that way you can hear the snap on that. That'll keep this particular envelope closed for whatever I'm going to be using for it. And then we've got our Teflon tools, which I'm going to show you how to use those guys in just a moment. We've got our mini keychain. We've got our long one and the one with the pointed end, round tip. And then they both have a nice spatula end on them. And then we've got the one that's called the wedge, which fits really nice in people's hands. Sometimes people have a harder time holding this guy. So the wedge is a little bit more comfortable. You still have your long edge on there and a nice point to be working um, your scoring with and then creasing. So we'll come back to Teflon in just a moment. We've got the square envelope that makes three different sizes. And then we also have um, that particular envelope. So we've got two different sizes on that, your typical C6 and then your A2 envelopes. If you're doing any puffier cards, I recommend the C6 one because it's a little bit bigger and allows for that little bit of puff. So that would be those two. And then I'm going to come over here and talk about our tag real quick. Uh, this would be the Judikins tag. So if you purchase this, you get the large tag and then it comes obviously with the two uh, pieces on the inside. So I just double up and made myself a tag right there. And then I wanted to show you, let's see, the diagonal open the tag. So I made this particular card with the tag, the tag template right there. So that would be our Julie Nutting Madeline doll. And then with the tag right here. And then there's two ways that you can do an envelope. Uh, to hold that, it, it would be the diagalope. So you can do this two ways. That would be a vertical way, so the tag could go inside, or you could do it horizontal. So I wanted to show you guys both ways to be able to do an enclosure with that. And then this lady, you might have seen her in the booth because we that was my Christmas card two years ago. So then that tag can fit neatly in there. And then that would be the Audrey which would be the Julie Nutting Audrey doll. So we do have Julie Nutting dolls on the website. We do have um, also the templates on the website. Now, whoops, how do you go ahead and make an envelope? This one I cut out. So you would go ahead and trace it, trace it, and then I use do the lines on the inside, but not on the one that I'm going to actually do the flap on. And then I would take the Teflon tool I prefer the rounded one because I just feel like you get a little bit extra coverage, but the tip, you can certainly do that as well. And then I go ahead and put that in there, whoops, put it in there and score. And then you would cut that out. You can fold these up and then fold that up and then you would crease that. Use your te uh, Teflon tool to crease that. And then go ahead, this one I did not crease yet. Okay, crease that up. And now you've got an envelope, which you can do either way. Fold it up either way like that. Very simple to use. Put a little bit of glue on the inside and then go ahead and figure out a different way to adhere it with washi tape or glue or you've got your magnets. All right, you're going to take a look at our website while we flip the table. Okay, we're back and we're going to start over here with tools glitter, magnets, and tape and adhesive. So we're gonna begin right over here with the stamp chamois. Now some of you might be asking, what is a stamp chamois and what am I gonna use it for? Well, first of all, we've got it in four different colors, pink, purple, blue, and green, hopefully to cover everybody. And it comes in a smaller pack as well as the tube like this, which would be a larger size. I like the tube because it, um, it can store it and stay hydrated in there. But it just depends on what size that you're interested in. And a stamp chamois helps you, obviously you can clean your car, but it helps you clean off your stamps or other little uh, areas that you're doing. Now Jim's gonna come in close um, so you can see this. 
I hydrated this particular stamp chamois. And I'm cleaning my stamp. <clears throat> excuse me. Cleaning my stamp off. It's a little noisy right there. So then I can reuse that. That one's got ink on it. This just had ink on it. And it all transferred to the stamp chamois. So I can clean my fingers off as well. Very handy little tool. If it dries out, all you got to do is rehydrate it. So stamp chamois online, small packages or large package, which is the tube. And now a handy little tool, what a lot of people don't know about, is what's called a flush cutter. So I just took the protective lid off. Flush means it's going to go up against whatever I'm cutting and go ahead and trim it. Great for cutting buttons off. So you can turn um, a button, remove the shank, and make it into an embellishment. But it is also good for uh, trimming up the nested dies. So you clip in between there and then use your files. We've got a pack of three on the website. Use your files to kind of file off the little metal burr so you don't hurt yourself. That would be flush cutters and the metal files. And then of course, we have to have our finger daubers also, which are very handy, one I already used, getting ready for Christmas cards or what have you. So we've got a 20 pack and a six pack. And then for those teeny tiny spots that you need to get into where a finger dauber is way too large, we've got what's called the teeny tiny daubers. I've already got ink on that particular one, but it allows you to put glue, chalks, or ink right in a, a particular dot or one particular spot that you need to that's obviously smaller than the finger dauber. And then before we talk about glitter, we're going to talk about how you clean it up or scoop it out. We've got our uh, scoop spatulas or our spoons, and then we have our fancy glitter handle, glitter brush to clean up the mess, embossing powders or glitter. And then we've got our lovely ultra fine glitter, 22 colors to keep you nice and busy. And then one of our newest color right here would be the rose gold color, which is very pretty. So that's new for us this year. 22 lovely colors, ultra fine glitter, just in an inexpensive jar, and it does have the shaker top on there, very easy to use. And then I just arrange them into like fairy colors, Halloween, and Christmas colors. Okay, so useful tool. We're gonna to talk about tweezers real quick. We've got our long reach tweezer, nice point on it, shovel tip, and then we've got our um, reverse tweezers, which allow you to pick up anything that you're working on until you pinch to release them. And then we've got our real, ooh, just poked myself, real fine tip tweezer. Very, very pointer, pointy, extra sharp. Let you hold whatever you're doing, but you have to put uh, pressure right there while you uh, release it. And then magnets, just picked up that. We've got super strong magnets. We've got our bar, We've got our 25 by two millimeter package of two. We've got our rectangles. We've got a package of six, eight by one millimeter, package of 12, which, uh, excuse me, package of four, 12 by two millimeters. Super strong magnets. You can hear the click right there. You're gonna wanna use E6000 when you adhere it to anything. Now, what do you use magnets for? Your stamp chamois, uh, excuse me, your stamp uh, platform, uh, Misty, memo boards, refrigerator, anything that you need a magnet for, we've got them for you. Now, tapes and adhesives. Some of you have seen our yellow tape. It's an inch wide. Inch wide. You can tear it or use scissors. We've got our zig two-way glues as well. The chisel tip. We've got the fine tip. We've got squeeze and roll and broad tip. Comes out blue, leaves it tacky, or flips to white. And then we've got our double-sided tape, and then we've got our foam tape, and then our famous rollers, which are uh, tape runners, straight line permanent, which are very easy to use. Okay, you guys are gonna look at your deal for today. It is 20% off site-wide, off regular price product, free shipping over $50. Now, uh, it's valid until Wednesday, 8-12, Please use code GASC2020, Creative Arts, and then we are starting our Facebook page, so go ahead and like us on Facebook. See you next time. Thank you.